everybody, Invisible Katana here. Um, I'm super behind on doing these gaming videos, but man, last weekend was phenomenal um, for the game world. As far as I'm concerned, we had the Video Game Awards, which was really good, and then we had the PlayStation Experience with a bunch of exclusive stuff. We have, you know, The Last of Us 2, of course, and this is m basically my Naughty Dog video, but it's mostly going to focus on the new Uncharted, which I cannot freaking wait to play, um, The Lost Legacy. Um, because I had such a crazy weekend uh, last weekend, I didn't get to see the PlayStation experience uh, live. Like, I had to sh do a bunch of stuff over the, over the whole weekend. I shot a music video on, on that Saturday, so I missed the whole initial conference. And then all of Sunday, I was helping my mom move stuff. So, whole weekend, I didn't get to see anything until, like, starting Monday is when I finally got to start watching videos. And I knew that there was an announcement for The Last of Us 2, um... I was watching a video about the Crash Bandicoot stuff, and that's how I actually learned about um, another Uncharted, because I, I knew the Last of Us 2 thing, and I actually watched that one already, and then the video I watched, they were like, they announced another one of these and another one of these, and I was like, what's what's this right now? So there's another Uncharted. And it was the first game um, at the conference, and I loved it. I thought it looked great. Like, I didn't realize that it was the Uncharted game at first, and then it was right when Chloe... Um, walked past this one guy the way that he grabbed her, i was like oh that's like uncharted like because it was somewhat delayed a little bit and then i was like this is the uncharted game like i know i realized the graphics and everything after that happened because it was like just the mechanics of how they've done like the fourth game and as soon as that happened i was like this is uncharted and i was like this is chloe because like the whole time i was looking at her i wasn't thinking much of it because i didn't you know realize what was happening and as soon as he grabbed her, and i was like this is the uncharted announcement I realized, like, the little, the swish, like, that's Chloe for sure, and it blew my freak. I wasn't, like, I had a roller coaster of emotions watching that, because I was, like, I'm pretty sure this is Uncharted, and this is going to be Chloe, but if it's not, I don't want to be super depressed, because that was, like, that's why I was mad about Uncharted 4. I was, like, this whole effing game, and there's no Chloe unless you play multiplayer, and she's, like, my number one character out of the whole franchise. Half of it is, you know, she's super hot, but the other half is she's super freaking sweet, too. That's why I like Nadine, and so... It goes through, and I'm like, this is going to be, you know, Chloe's, like, the main character, and I was so freaking happy, and then it gets to the end of it, and, you know, she's fighting and stuff, and she does, like, martial arts, which I thought was pretty cool, and so the other person comes in, and at first, we don't see who it is. They just tackle, you know, the dude who has the gun to Chloe, and so they're fighting and stuff, and then she kicks the dude in the knee, and the other person does, like, a jump kick and kicks him off the building, which was actually pretty freaking amazing. And then it's Nadine, and when I was first watching it, it didn't click. It was like, alright, this is black lady. Her hairstyle is so different, because she had, like, the big, she's like, it's not really an afro, but she had, like, the spread out hair. And I was like, alright, it's this black lady, and it just didn't connect for, like, that half a second, because it was so fast, and I was like, there's so many things happening because I, I guess I realized it and I was still on that roller coaster. Like, I I want this to be Chloe, but that's all I was thinking about. I was like, I want it to be Chloe and I'm pretty sure it is Chloe, but if it's not, I need to lower my expectations because this could be something else. And I was trying not to upset myself because I would have been super sad if it wasn't Chloe. And so when she when the, it shows that it's Nadine, I still didn't register because I was, I was still thinking on the Chloe side of things. And then she, like, takes off the stuff, and I was like, it's Chloe. And then I was like, oh, it's not, that's Nadine in the background. That's who that was. And it hit me. I was like, these are, like, the two best characters. And, the, like, I love Nadine uh, from 4. Like, she was amazing in that game. She's definitely, it's hard to say if she's my favorite, because I really like Flynn, because he's really funny. But if she's not my favorite villain, she's at least, like, barely in second place. So it's really hard to say. Like, I, they, they're tied at this point, because... She's just super amazing. Plus, you know, she's an epic fighter, too. And the two of them, as the main characters, I was like, this is like a dream version of Uncharted for me. So I cannot wait to play this game. Um, I love the visuals. It does seem a little bit better, of course. They're probably specifically um, working on, like, you know, PS4 Pro type stuff. So it looks even better just for what they're showing off, probably, you know, 4 kit visuals. It is DLC, but it's exp it's like a really big DLC. So this, I believe, is coming out It's sometime next year. So we have the co-op stuff, which I believe is supposed to come out this month, which I'm excited for, because that was one of the really big things. It was like, all right, when do we get, you know, co-op gameplay? Because so far, it's been all the normal stuff. It's just been the competitive modes. They've added some new stuff like Bounty Hunter mode to um, online. And they recently, I think it was like, it was like 
all, like half a month ago or like just about a month ago at this point, they tested out um, the classic version because we haven't had that in Uncharted 4 yet either. So they tested that out, so that should be rolling out fairly soon before the end of the year, I, I, would, I would guess. But, excuse me, there's you know a lot of stuff coming up. So it's like, all right, when do we get the co-op stuff? And I think a lot of us, because I was talking with my friends when we were first trying to figure out like what's going to be the co-op DLC, because we all knew it wasn't coming out until next year. It was like, what's it going to be? And we're like, maybe it's going to be, you know, Sam and, um, you know, Sam and Sully, and maybe that's how they would put in Chloe and possibly even Cutter. Because like, I do hope that Cutter's um, at least somewhere in this game because he was missing too. And they only have like five hero characters. I was like, I, I kind of want to see all of them because they only have five characters that are good guys throughout the entire franchise. It's Nate, Sully, Elena, Chloe and Cutter, and that's it. Like, and now you know Sam was introduced in this one, so we have six, I guess. But that's it. So it's like we're only missing like two people that kind of have to show up at some point, right? So I'm hoping that Cutter isn't left out of this DLC. But um, you know, I was happy to see that this is what it was. You know, so we have the co-op stuff coming out now. That's coming out later, and that's going to be a huge update because uh, for those of you who may not have actually watched the full conference when they did the Uncharted panel. They talked about it, and it was like, you know, so how big is this game? Is it DLC? Is it a standalone thing? And technically, it's DLC, so for those of you who have the season pass, uh, like me, I bought the season pass when I first got the game. We're going to get that uh, for free, which is really good, because they said it's a DLC, but it's like the super expansive DLC, so it's going to have a standalone thing if you don't have um, Uncharted 4 just yet, or if you don't buy the season pass and, you know, you just buy it you know, buy the DLC separately based on what you like and what you don't like, you can get this as a standalone thing and you have Uncharted 4 and then you have Uncharted uh, The Lost Legacy as its own disc. So it's a lot like um, Saints Row Get Out of Hell. Like, that had its own physical release as well as a digital release that you could just add on if you didn't want to, like, buy the game all over again. Or there, it was at least, like, a combo pack where you bought the the full Saints Row 4 game and it came with uh, Get Out of Hell. So... It's, it's a lot like that where it's a DLC, but it's really expansive. So that had me very excited. They did say the whole game uh, takes place in India. So, you know, it's it's traveling through locations, but it's within one country. And I think that's a cool idea as well. So we'll see how that plays out. You know, like I said, it's big enough to have a standalone thing, but it's not as big. You know, they, they mentioned that as well. It's not as big as Uncharted 4, which I'd say that was a good... I think I kind of, I mean, like most people, you know, you can kind of fly through that game. It's not like it's impossible. So I'd say that was, that was a fairly extensive game. It was probably in like the 15 hour area, maybe like the normal 12. I think that's kind of the typical uh, range for games at this point. So 12, maybe even 16 hour uh, long gameplay. So if this is like in like the eight hour, you know, eight to 10 hour sort of thing, I'd be perfectly fine with that. I think that'd be really cool. Um... One of the big things I'm curious about is whether or not they're going to have new additions from, um, and I'm assuming they will do this just because it makes sense, but if they're going to add like new levels and stuff like that, maybe they'll even add new weapons, um, possibly even new characters, because I would assume we of course have Chloe and we have Nadine, they have to, you know, with them teaming up, that kind of makes Nadine one of the heroes in this, so someone has to take the place of the villains, so that has me really excited to see, you know, what... I mean, if this truly is the final Uncharted game, who's going to be our, our, you know, our last villain? Like, who are they going to be going up against? What is going to be, you know, the main purpose? I would assume, based on what we saw, it's kind of stopping them from destroying the cities and doing this and that. And they're searching for a gem or, or a jewel te for whatever. I don't know the exact difference. I know that a gem and a jewel are different. But they're searching for some sort of crystal-like uh, object. So... I'm really excited to get this game. Um, I love the visuals. The one thing that I did notice, and someone actually, I've only seen the comment one time, which I thought was crazy, um, and I hope that this changes, and I'm assuming it will, because if you play um, Uncharted 4, she doesn't look like this, but Chloe looked super mannish in that thing, and I was like, it was really obvious. As soon as I saw it, I was like, they took um, Nathan Drake, and they altered his face a little. Like, I could tell that's what they did, because her chin was, like, super wide and stuff like that. And I was like, that's not how she looks. And I could tell that it was, like, the exact same sequence from Uncharted 4. And I don't remember if it was from one of the early trailers, but there's a part in the game where they do that exact thing, where it's the reveal of Nate. 
and it's that exact close-up of his face in that exact same position and everything and I was like they used that but they didn't change it enough because I'm like her face is still blocky kind of like Nate's and I'm like I know that that's what they did at least for this so I'm hoping that that's not what happens because she doesn't look like that um in the multiplayer so I'm assuming that this was like you know it's so early they're like all right we don't have time to do like the full uh model and everything like that so they did the best they could to alter it but she looked like a lot like Nate like you got to be honest if you watch that again she's got a much bigger face and she's it's a very manly looking face and I'm like you know if that was her character initially then that would be her character but I'm like she looks like Nate here a little bit like she has that same um it was like a half and half build almost it was like half Chloe and the other half was definitely a model that they used for Nate before and I was like that worries me but I definitely hope that this is a temporary thing and it was just for this first video because that really scared me I was like I was super happy it was Chloe but I was like she definitely looks like Nate right here so that worried me a little but I'm hoping that it's just because it's so early because they still don't even have a date it's just sometime next year so I'm hoping that that was just like a little thing there and that's why she looked that way because that would be such a huge difference. It would be like going, like, if you play the Assassin's Creed games, they make Desmond look so different through some of those games. Like in the third game, he looks really weird to me. Like they gave him like a crazy long face and stuff and I always thought he looks so weird because he looks nothing like he did in the other two games. He looks like a totally different character. So I'm really hoping that they don't do that, especially considering they have like a brand new model of her you know, at least for multiplayer, she wasn't in the game, but they made a brand new model for her, at least to use in multiplayer, just like they did, you know, with Cutter and, you know, Flynn and, like, all the characters that didn't exist in, in 4, they still rebuilt all those models and still made them look like the old versions of the characters, just better. So, like I said, I'm hoping that that was just, oh, this is super early, and that's why she happens to look this way. But other than that, everything looked great. You know, this was, like, her actually in game because the the multiplayer looks different than the actual gameplay is just the way they made it but i think that's why it looked that way they haven't done a hundred percent model of her character you know kind of in engine um in the main campaign game and stuff like that so that was like my only that's my single gripe at this point everything looks amazing um some funny comments that i keep reading it's like i'm someone put like i'm both um happy and disappointed that none of the ladders broke i thought that was really funny but I'm really excited for this. I, I like once I knew officially once the roller coaster was done and I knew that it was Chloe and I could be happy about it. And plus the addition of Nadine, I just can't wait to see what they do. Of course, my only hope is that Cutter does show up. Um, maybe we'll get some more stuff. We might actually get that mission that Sam and Sully were kind of referencing at the end of four, possibly. But I was super happy with this announcement. I cannot wait to play this DLC. Chloe is like my number one character. Nadine, like, Nadine and Chloe are the two characters I always pick in multiplayer. Like, when I go Heroes, the first person I pick is Chloe. And when it's Villains, the first person I pick is Nadine. And I, that's all I was doing when I was doing multiplayer after the announcement. I was like, every match was like, it's Chloe and Nadine, and that's pretty much it. I think I did a couple matches after a while uh, with other characters. But it's like, nope. Announcement time, Nadine and Chloe. That's all there is to it, which is kind of normal for me. But it was just like, it just... It was really awesome, so I can't wait for this game to come out. Of course, I would love to know what you guys thought about this announcement, even though it's late. You guys know, I don't even know who's going to check this out, you know, a week after the fact. But I would love to know your opinions on this new Uncharted. Are you excited for it? Do you not really care? Um, I know some people um, were kind of meh on Uncharted 4, you know, not as much as Uncharted 3, I think. I think this one still got, it still was more accepted than 3 was, so... I don't know. I, I personally love the game. I, I still play multiplayer all the time. I, I really enjoy it. I um, haven't played the campaign in a while, mostly because I'm doing like ranked on uh, multiplayer, so that's kind of why I've been doing that. But I love the game, and all I was waiting for was hoping that Chloe would be in the DLC, and she is the main person. So I just get to look at her the entire way through, and that's perfect as far as I'm concerned. But I would love to know what you guys thought about the announcement, how you guys are feeling about the game, so please Put your comments down in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.